Hi, welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Walter. Today we're at the Nez Pierce National Historic Park. And before I read this, last night we met a Nez Perce Indian. Uh, his name was White Bear. And uh, I hope I got it right. Uh, it was a fantastic lecture and speech. He told us stories. Uh, the stories were fantastic because they're stories they tell their children and they're just entertainment when they're children and as they grow up and rehear these stories they're life lessons uh, and it was a brilliant thing to do so extremely enjoyable but here we are at the Nez Perce National Historic Park for thousands of years the valleys prairies mountains and plateaus of the inland northwest have been home to the Nipipu the Nez Perce people. 38 sites are scattered across the states of Idaho, Oregon, Washington, and Montana. So this is where we're at. Thank you. If we didn't strategically park though, oh, yeah. we would have really screwed up the parking lot. Yes. baked potato with what with chili with chili chili butter, bacon butter chives chives peppers chives onions. my chives if anybody else wants chives he might share <laughs> we are here at Hell's Canyon Resort in Clarkston Washington it's literally on the other side of Idaho through a river. I think it's Clearwater River. This resort, RV resort, is wonderful. Other than this side row right here, they, which are back ends and 30 amps, the rest of the RV sites are 50 amps. And it does not matter which way you park your rig, there are Taking, for example, this last end cap space here, you can either 
hook up here or hook up there or hook up there now the other RV site they can hook up there's four plugs so they can be they have a choice of which direction to pull into it's absolutely wonderful and this concrete slab right here is leveled we did not have to level left or right and you can see in the distance there is Wanda with Aries and there's enough room for it so that means it's over 50 feet long and I love the fact that all the sites are leveled it's wonderful they actually took time to think of this park oh and also the sewer there are in each pad there's four sewer connections so those rigs with two bathrooms you can do front and back front and back <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful all of these sites there's four sewer connections you have an option of going forward or backwards good water pressure this is one of the best parks I've been to in regards to the layout of the electrical of the utilities it's absolutely wonderful and the grass is green it's not brown it's clean there's no dirt anywhere it's really clean and here's our setup and here is our setup sewer water and 50 amps it's also a 30 amp and a 15 amp it's wonderful water in water out it's a really nice site today's activity is a boat ride around this reservoir and I get seasick there's also a lunch that's being provided but I'm not doing that I, I don't want to chance getting sick all day today later tonight and part of tomorrow morning it's just not worth the being nauseous and it's just not worth the nausea all right but we're gonna say hello to everyone that is going on this boat ride and also take a look at the rest of the park we actually need the 50 amp here right now because it is over a hundred it was it's scheduled to be 113 114 today there's a high pressure that is in this area and for the next week here in this location it's going to be over 110 degrees miserable it's like being in vegas No, I'm not going on the boat ride. I just, You're not? No. I get seasick. I don't want a chance of being nauseous. There ain't no waves out there. I see waves. <laughs> I, I feel wind. Oh. Wind equals waves. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't want to be like nauseous today. Worse than being seasick. Tonight and also tomorrow morning. It lasts that long. Yeah. Here's everyone going on the boat ride. Oh no, this is as far as I go. <laughs> this <laughs> Columbia. Uh, 
Oh, look, there's, there's little there's minnows. Little fish. There's a Bye. Have fun in your three hour tour. <laughs> I'm not with them. No. <laughs> oh, you are. Hello. <laughs> and you are with he the Hell. I'm with Hell Snake Bag. River Ventures. Okay, Snake River Ventures. The back of the shirt. Film the back. Okay, there you are. Advertising. There we go. <laughs> He's not going. You're not going. I'm not going. I'm just here to wave bye. Water's a little chilly, but it's really refreshing. Yeah. I brought a cup so I can like make it. Yes. It's very refreshing. Would we stay here at Hills Canyon RV Resort again? The answer would be yes. A definite yes, we would stay here again. A little out of breath. My hat flew away. I had to chase after it. Whew. Okay, while well, everyone went on the boat ride down this river, we are having lunch here at Roosters. I called them, they are open for lunch and they do have salmon. We got some pretty good signs in here. They're all made by the owner's wife too. Even better. <laughs> no matter who you think you are. That's even better. I like this one, where the bar is. Yeah, well, we were high school kids. Having the salmon, the salad, and Walter's having a cheeseburger. Thank you so much. Oh, wonderful. And this wonderful view outside of the river. Thank you so much. Do you want more ice tea? Yes, please. We are having lunch at Red Monkey in Walla Walla, Washington. Seems like a nice place, so hopefully, hoping the food is good. We did have to park three blocks away in order to find parking. So Wanda is in a residential neighborhood three blocks away and we walked at a, which isn't so bad. However, it's 113 degrees outside right now. So the three block walk is a little bit exhausting. Prime rib dip, delicious. They have endless fries here. So you can have as many fries as you want. And Walter's having... A cheeseburger that's great, delicious. Mm. And service is good. All right, thank you for watching. Yes, we appreciate it, bye. bye. And I believe that's where it hits the Columbia River. That's right. If you go on 730, it would be 11. But actually, it looks like it could be straight. And 12 goes right. And then you, uh, you're in Oregon. We went to Oregon today. I know. We're good. Yeah, we did. Okay. <laughs> so back, I pass the Oregon. You'll see Hat Rock State Park on the right. Huh? If you bypass Oregon, I'll put you yeah. <laughs> there you can pay 10% sales tax. Now, if you want to stop in Oregon, you can pay zero cents. Okay, at 150, you go under I-82 and you continue on 730. You go another basically 15, 16 miles and then you merge onto I-84 toward Portland. So instead of a landmark, that's supposed to be directions. At 149.9? Yes. Well, they don't want you to go on to I-82. Of course, we know some of you rebels will go on to I-82. Oh dear. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? But 
At that point, it doesn't matter. We don't want you in before 1 p.m. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't look like a very taxing drive. It's not that long. It is two lane roads. Take your time. Look for the big horn sheep. <laughs> and then uh, that's it. You can get off at exit 164 and you make your way to the campground. Any questions?